In this video, we'll talk about manual nesting. So in the main ProNest window, the part list task pane shows all of the parts that have been added to the job. These parts can now be nested. I'm going to take a second to just customize the main window a bit to make it easy to see parts and their properties. So I'll turn off this color legend here. And also on the view tab, I'll select properties. And then the properties for the currently selected part in the part list will be shown there. Okay, so ProNest always has an empty nest with a standard plate size selected on the main window. So right now, my empty nest has a size of 96 by 48, and that's displayed at the bottom in the status bar. So this is my default plate size, and it's coming from settings, but let's say I need to nest on a different plate size. So click the Home tab, select New Nest, and then there's a list of options here. I'll pick 120 by 48. Again, this is a list that can be configured in settings. Also, you could type in a custom size here with these two boxes if you need to. All right, so I'll click OK. Now my new empty nest is created. I don't need the first nest anymore, so I can click the Nest tab down below and then just select Delete Nest. All right, and that one's removed. OK, so I'm ready to nest now. With manual nesting, parts are added from the part list to the nest one at a time. There are several different ways to manually nest parts. One quick way of manually nesting a part is with anchor part to cursor. That's this option at the bottom of the part list. So when I turn this on, the selected part in the part list becomes affixed to the mouse cursor. So it becomes anchored to your cursor. And to nest, you just click. So just click an empty area of the nest and the part is dropped down at that point and then bumped towards the nesting home. So the nesting home is indicated by the purple circle. In my case, this is the upper left corner of the plate. Clicking again will nest more copies of the part. Notice that as parts are added, the quantity nested in the part list is updated. So this foot part now has two of two nested and there are no more copies available for nesting. Just click a different part in the part list to continue nesting with that part. All right, so the part is bumped towards the nesting home here, but if you don't want that to happen, you can hold the control key and then click, and that will drop the part at the location you click without bumping it to the nesting home. There's also an option in preferences called disable automatic bumping of parts, and that will turn off the bumping during manual nesting altogether. All right, you can also rotate these parts here so if you just press the control key and then move the mouse up a bit, there's some rotate options for the currently anchored part. Okay, there's also keyboard shortcuts for this. So the Q, E, W, and S keys perform different rotation commands as well in ProNest. Okay, to turn off anchored part, just right click on the nest. You can also clear the anchor part to cursor box to do this as well. All right, another similar method of nesting is just drag and drop. So you can grab a part, click it, and then drag it onto the nest, and it will be bumped towards the nesting home. With either of these two methods of manual nesting, you can change the way that parts bump and rotate as they're being dragged on the nest. There are three states to choose from. That's set in the status bar in the main window. There's an option called Smart Drag. With Smart Drag on and Rotation on, which is what I have set now, the parts will bump up against neighboring parts or plate edges as they're dragged around on the nest. We'll turn on Anchor Part to Cursor again, and this time I'll select this bracket part. So now with Smart Drag on, the part will bump up against neighboring parts or plate edges, and it will also rotate to fit. Okay, so this is a good option if you're trying to fit a part into an empty area on the nest. This can help you get a tight fit during manual nesting. You can also leave Smart Drag on, but turn Rotation off. 
So just by clicking that button. And now the part will not rotate as it bumps up against other parts or the plate edge. This might be useful if you have a rectangular part. So let's say you have this rectangular part here and you don't want it to rotate. You want the edges of the part to be squared up with the plate edges or the X, Y axes of your cutting machine. So now the part will bump up against neighboring parts, but it will not rotate. A third option is just to turn Smart Drag off altogether. And when that's off, the parts will not bump up against each other as they're being dragged or moved using anchor part. They also won't rotate. Another way of manually nesting is just to double click the part in the part list. So let's try that with this paddle part right now. Alright, and as I do that, it will add the part and actually automatically nest that single part. So this is sort of automatically nesting parts one at a time. So if you have a level or tier of ProNest LT that has automatic nesting, that's the essentials or unlimited tiers. With either of those, you can automatically nest. And so double clicking or pressing enter will nest parts automatically. So we'll try to fit them into available areas on the nest. Um, if you have a smart start tier, this will still place parts on the nest, but it will just drop them and then bump them towards the nesting home. 